Panama, here we are. Yeah, when I went without a hitch, not too bad. Here you see, right there's the airport. See, right there. That thing right there is a genie. And it helps lift people up. Only thing that's made in, it's made in Seattle. It's made right where we're from. That thing right there is called a genie. Made it all the way down to Panama here. Now we're yeah, looking right. to get a cab or we're looking to um, maybe get an Uber. Of course, you know, just like every country, they all rush you and say, hey, uh, Uber, Lyft, 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 Uber, Uber, cab, cab, cab. And there's always the fake ones out there, you know. He shows you a picture of a car and he's not an Uber or he's not a real cab. You get that all the time. Uh, it's just kind of the way it is. Wherever you go, you're going to get those people who... You know, act like they're a cab driver, and I, I, I first started traveling to South America. I learned my lesson that uh, people who are always who they say they are. Anyway, uh, here's Susan here. It's very humid here. Um, anyway, so we are at the international airport here in Panama. We just go to our hotel. Yeah, it was pretty cool. We got to, we were in seat five, so we're in front of the plane for the first time. Actually, it's been working out pretty good uh, uh, on the way to uh, Colombia, we got the emergency seats, which we've had problems with that before, but this time we're without a hitch. And now uh, we had extra leg room, which was nice. And this time we are in seat five towards the front of the plane, but uh, we were like one of the first couple to go through because we were the first ones to get off the plane, which was very, very nice. And so anyway, so now uh, we're just looking to head to our hotel. We're kind of exhausted. We want some food, some more beer. And uh, okay, there's a lot of options here. Uber is one of them. It's really cheap. Can you believe it? Fifteen dollars for an Uber to a hotel. So I don't know how much cabs are. I'm guessing they're probably a little bit more. But of course, Uber's you know, which, which we know is already pretty safe. But fifteen dollars we were paying in Mexico. Uh, we had a bargain with it. It started at sixty-five, got it down to forty. Then we found out that well, it was forty bucks, is because it was one of the closest ones to to the airport. That's why they willing to go down. But Anyway, this is uh, definitely a cheap country so far. I mean, Uber for 15 bucks. We were we were in LA and tried to get an Uber. Everybody's getting on their phone, so the price would be jacked up to 130 bucks, 170 bucks, and then back down to 70, back up. They, uh, it's just uh, crazy, crazy prices. But uh, 15 bucks to our hotel from here. And don't forget, they also use the US dollar here, which is pretty fantastic. Staying at Marriott. I think this is one of our freebies again. It's a Nissan we have here. There's our Uber driver. He looks very happy. He's a very happy Uber driver. Welcome Panama. <laughs> Welcome to Panama. And he has got a Panama license plate. There we go. And in we go. The temperature is pretty steady in Panama City. It's an average of 81 degrees all year round. With a Humidity of 100%. That is a city. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Wow. Panama City is the capital of Panama and one of the most photogenic cities we've ever seen. It was founded in 1519 by the conquistadors and was used as a port for transporting gold to Spain and for the slave trade. We were like driving right into it. That is so cool. Man, oh man, that is a massive city. Wow. Is that the ocean on this side? That's our ocean. Look, Look at, at all the, that. Look at all the ships landing up. All the ships out there going through the Panama Canal. In 1903, Panama declared independence from Colombia with a 10-mile strip in the middle that sold to the U.S. for $10 million. Look at that amazing, beautiful city. We're like driving right into the city. Oh, look at that thing. The economy is mostly service-based, mostly dealing in banking and tourism. The city's economy provides 55% of the country's GDP. 